What do we have here? Muhammad Ali collection. Okay, whole collection of Muhammad Ali stuff. Where did you get all this? But I didn't get it, my husband got it. Okay, so do you know much about this stuff? I mean, like the trunks here. I know that they're worth a lot of money. <laughs> okay, uh, well, originally his name was Cassius Clay. Some consider him the greatest boxer of all time. I consider him the greatest self-promoter of all time. <laughs> well, the world um, renowned. He was just had a, an amazing personality. He was so good with the press. Everybody loved him. And um, just an incredible, like, sports figure. And uh, to this day, I mean, like, most boxers that were around in the 1960s, not that collectible anymore. True. This guy is. Yes. Interesting stuff. OK, it'd be super cool if um, these were actually Ali's trunks. You know what? Um, Brian, my sports guy, he's around here somewhere. Let me text him. Let me have him take a look at this stuff um, and just get his opinion on it, OK? OK. He'll just know more than I do, OK? Thank you. Hey, Brian. Rick. How are you? Good. Um, what do we have here? Um, this young lady right here, this is Muhammad Ali collection she has. OK. Muhammad Ali won the gold medal for the United States in the Rome Olympics in 1960. In 65, he became the heavyweight champion, beating Sonny Liston. He is widely regarded by many as the greatest fighter of all time. OK, so like, are they real, what they're worth? Well, let me tell you a little something. So yeah, right over here, you have what appears to be Ali's signature. And it's numbered 49 out of 1,500, an oversized photo. And then the same is here. Unfortunately, we have some uh, damage down in the lower right corner. And the gloves, gloves are a very common thing that uh, are, you know, were autographed by Ali. Unfortunately, there's some smudging and fading. Of all the stuff she's got here, that's the one I'm most intrigued about. Do you think those were made for Ali? You know, that's a great question. A lot of the trunks that uh, do garner big money have been tied to very memorable fights. I think you'd be in the forty to $50,000 range. Do you think these trunks were actually worn by Muhammad Ali? I would assume that they were. But you don't have anything not to a, really back that Not a that fact, out. no. Well, that's where we're kind of at an impasse. If we don't have something to substantiate, they were worn in a fight. Many of the fight-worn items came from either Angelo Dundee, who was his trainer, or his corner man, Drew Bundini Brown. Both of those collections have entered the memorabilia industry. And uh, without being able to tie these to one of those two collections, it makes it incredibly difficult. OK, so like, until there, someone can actually prove something with them, there's just next to no money with them, though, right? You know, we really don't have anything, any provenance that ties them directly to a fight. OK. So thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Rick. If you need anything else, I'll be outside. OK. All right. Um, it, it's just not for me. Go through your husband's stuff. Maybe there's more documentation. Okay. But that's something you're going to have to do first, OK? OK. All right. All right. What do we got? Well, I have a one-of-one one Tiger Woods rookie printing plate. OK. Fernando Tatis pre-rookie one-of-one autograph gold refractor card. OK. A very rare pre-rookie card by Luka Doncic. OK. Yeah. Looking at this basketball card, would you assume that this is the best guy in the NBA? <laughs> I would not. This is definitely cool. It's written in Turkish, which is where it was made. I've only seen 15 of them ever. Oh, wow. He's most often compared to Larry Bird, just in terms of his shot ability, his playmaking ability. Absolutely. I mean, NBA All-Star three times in a row. The guy came right out the gate, one of the best basketball players there is right now. Now, this card looks really interesting. This Fernando Tatis Jr. is a one-of-one -one gold wave refractor. If you want to look at it in the light, it's yeah. mesmerizing. I mean, yeah, take a look and it's got an autograph that's actually on the card. This is definitely cool. He's now the third highest paid baseball player in the history of baseball. And the card is amazing. The fact that it's graded a 10 with an autograph on it, I know it's got to be worth some money. And this is a printing plate from 1997 Tiger Woods. This is got to be a one of one, I'm assuming. It is a one right? of one. All right, I'm Tiger Woods. I mean, it, the name is just basically synonymous with golf. This is how important Tiger Woods is, because I wouldn't even believe that there was a golf cart if it wasn't for Tiger Woods. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and it's a printing plate, so this is what they would use to make Tiger Woods cards. Yeah, so in this era of printing cards, they had four plates. They had a black, a magenta, a cyan, and a yellow. 
Yeah. And this is the one of one. It is black. very similar to the way they make money. You have a metal plate right. carved in it, and one plate puts one color on top of it, one plate does another one. Very, very cool, one of a kind item. So, you got some really uh, cool stuff here. What are you looking to get for this stuff? I would like to get for the Tiger Woods printing plate $100,000. Uh, okay. This Tatis card, I'm looking to get $45,000 for. And this Luka Doncic card, I'm looking to get $60,000. Uh, okay, um, so what I can tell you, man, is what you're asking is not out of line, and it's a lot more work than I'm gonna be able to do right here. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I'm gonna have you go ahead and hold on to these. Uh, I've got some people down there. If you wanna give them your information, they can snap some photos and whatnot of them. Absolutely. And I'll be in touch with you, and maybe we can make a deal further down the line. Sounds like a plan. All right, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thank you.